Let's review the first reverse rotation bay of X. Hello Beybladers! Welcome back to another Beyblade X unboxing video. Today we're unboxing the BX34 Cobalt Dragoon 260C Deluxe Starter. This is the first reverse rotation Beyblade of Beyblade X. That's why the box is reverse colors being black and the symbol on the top left corner of the box does stand for left rotation. This also pays homage to the original Spin Dragoon that released during Beyblade's first generation back in 1999. Cobalt Dragoon is a left spinning attack type Beyblade, and it's a deluxe starter, so it comes with a blue left spinning string launcher. So Chrome Ryugu is the owner of this bay in the Beyblade X story. He is the leader of Team Pen Dragon. You can also see this little image here that highlights the fact that it's a different spin direction, meaning it's going to move in the opposite pattern of a normal Beyblade X top like UX uh, Drawn Buster. And as a result, the two bays will clash directly in battle rather than having to chase each other down like what you see traditionally in an X battle. The parts for Cobalt Dragoon include the Cobalt Dragoon Blade, the first left spinning blade of X, and it uses its four upper blades for upper attack, the 260 Ratchet, which is a ratchet that changes the performance based on the base spin direction, and the Cyclone Bit, a bit that has a spiral cyclone-like shape designed for the counterclockwise spin direction, meaning when it's paired with a left spinning bay, it has improved aggression and better attack potential. And you can also see once again the left spin string launcher at the very bottom here. Now let's begin unboxing the first left spinning X Beyblade. So with this skill guide, the main thing is that the next item is the Phoenix Rudder deck set. It's coming next month, August 10th. It is important to note that it's also releasing alongside a booster that contains the UX variant of Leon Claw, Leon Crest. And of course, the recent random booster also released. So next time, I'll be unboxing the Black Shell random booster. Alright, so here's the Cobalt Dragoon Blade. Cobalt Dragoon is the first left spin blade of X. And as you can see, it is very similar in design to Cobalt Drake which does make sense as it is a variant of that bay. Of course, if you look at the two bays side by side, Cobalt Dragoon is just a reverse version of Drake with some extra attack points. It features four small attack points in between its four primary blades. And if we look at the side profile, you can see that the blades do curve upward like that to form a ramp, which allows for an upper attack from the left spinning reverse direction, which is pretty cool. Cobalt Dragoon also features the same Bakuten Shoot Beyblade logo as a symbol on its gear chip and the Dragoon Avatar has been modified in a new position, which does look really awesome. This is a really sick looking blade. I kind of wish it was had a metal coat like Cobalt Drake did, but at the same time, it still looks great even without it. 260 is a ratchet that has two sides and six millimeters tall, setting the bay at a low profile. Now thanks to its design, its performance is different based on the bay's spin direction. When used on clockwise spinning bays, the smoother side of the ratchet ring makes contact with the opponent and it's better at deflecting attacks. But when used on a counterclockwise spinning bay, the Ratchet has better offensive performance. Whether this will be good or not is to be determined. I do think the Ratchet sides look kind of blocky and square-like, which isn't the best for burst resistance judging from the performance of four-sided Ratchets, but of course we do have to wait and see. This is the new bit. This is called C, which stands for Cyclone. This is pretty much the X version of Left Flat or the Spiral Driver from Burst, two drivers that shared similar gimmicks. Pretty much, it features a spiral or cyclone flat shaft that is pointed towards the left spinning direction. As a result, when paired with a counterclockwise spinning bay, it allows for higher aggression, higher speed, which means it will generate better attack performance, which sounds pretty interesting. Of course, being an attack a bit, it features a thicker stem. This will help it hold tighter onto the ratchet when the base fully assembled. And as a result, it's a lot harder to twist the ratchet in battle, thus making it harder for the bay to burst. Damn, my Cobalt Dragoon is 38 grams on the dot. Uh, usually, for most videos, I've seen Cobalt Dragoon is like barely below 38, it's around 37. So this means I have a very heavy one, which is really good. In comparison to my Cobalt Drake, exactly 38 grams. So my Cobalt Dragoon is surprisingly heavy despite not having a metal coat, which is really, really good. 
260 is 6.4. Cyclone, 2.2. So the other ports are standard bit and ratchet weight. Is it important to note, it's hard to see, but the ratchets are compatible with both left spinning and right spinning tops. You just need to align it to where the arrows are matching the appropriate letter of the base spin direction. So because there's a left spin, you need to align it in a way to where it will obviously fit for a left spinning bay. It's hard to see, but the full bay is 46.5 grams, so that's pretty hefty. In comparison, let's get all the parts for my cobalt trach here. Forty-six point four. So yeah, they pretty much weigh about the same. So cobalt dragoon, I'm just gonna hit like a truck. It's definitely gonna win an attack match as long as it outweighs its opponent during a head-on clash. The final thing to note is the new Beyblade X string launcher, the L version. It even has the letter L against the letters Beyblade X String Launcher L. So it's a lighter shade of blue compared to other launchers we've seen. It has a white launcher prong and some white covering on the head little handle here. The design is slightly different. I'm not sure why they decided to change the design like this, but you know, not a big deal. I do like string launchers. I prefer them to winders personally. I know winders apparently are a little bit stronger, but in my experience, I think string launchers are still better. That's just me though. But just to show it off, no, you can't put a right spinning bay on this launcher if you try to. The bay will just fall off. It will not stay on or assemble. Only compatible with left spins. Although that was pretty self-explanatory. I just need to show it off just in case someone one of you asked. Hey, can I put a right spin bay on this? No, you can't. But yeah, we got the new Cobalt Dragoon. So let's get into a test spin and some test battles. Three, two, one. Let it rip. Whoa, this bay is fast. And look how it constantly used the extreme dash.
And that will conclude today's unboxing of the new Cobalt Dragoon 260 Cyclone Deluxe Starter. I mean, this is the first left spin release of X, and if you for some reason decide not to buy it, I can't really call you a Beyblade fan at that point. You should definitely get this Bay, as it's one of the best releases by far. Looks like you made it to the end of the video. Don't forget to leave a like, make a comment, and consider subscribing to my channel. And if you do, hit that notification bell to get notified when I upload new videos. Thanks for watching.